quickly dive over the Randall and Triple Eight drama. So basically, how much time do we have? We uh, are <laughs> going to have to speed run this one. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, otherwise, we can be here all day. So basically, for context, this all happened on Sunday. Uh, Thomas Randall obviously got pole position, which was fantastic to see. Uh, I was really rooting for him for, uh, for yeah. his first win. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Um, he got squeezed wide by with Will Brown. Well, um, first of all, he made a mistake losing the lead. Yes. Lap one, uh, turn that, that, that's three. Fine. He went to the hairpin, yeah. cold tires, yeah, yeah. and Cam Waters Cam just lost it away. Over. Yep. Um, yeah. I, 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 thanks for pointing you. Out. I, I forgot about. That I got one. you back. Um, <clears throat> so much happened in that race. It's true. <laughs> Some say Brody Kostek is still serving one of his three po- <laughs> penalties he got on the weekend. <laughs> He's still uh, in the pit lane. Okay. Off topic. Brody Kostecki, pit lane penalty for tapping. Um, I, for, I can't believe we forgot about this. For tapping David Reynolds off the circuit. Yeah. Pit lane penalty for a 15 release. second, no, 15 second penalty for crashing into Mark Winterbottom as he left lane. the pit lane. <sighs> Double whammy for Team 18, though. That was just brutal. <sighs> within, and then, with, yeah, within five minutes, both their cars. Got I think speed. a PLP for speeding in the pit lane as well. Of course. So there you go. So he might be in Tasmania when they travel to Sandown, um, serving that penalty. But back to the Randall thing. Um, so, Randall and uh, Will Brown, they fought. Will went down the inside heading to the final oh, corner. Crazy. That was a fair move, in my opinion. That was a racing incident. It was awkward. It was not ideal. But they were bumping each other for the whole lap. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was It was bound to happen. And shout point. out to Randall. You know, he fought. He yeah. fought until he literally He had his couldn't. elbows out. He had his elbows out. Well, they both switched sides, I think, three mm. or four times. Yes. <laughs> but they were bumping down the back straight. Yeah, at two hundred thirty plus k's an hour, just bumping yeah. each other like, "Oh wow, boys, <laughs> settle, chill." <laughs> and then, well, Will Brown just thought he would just end it. Yeah, but it was a fair move in my opinion. Yeah, it, it, it's hard to go. It outside. was tricky. Uh, people will say yay for Will or no for Will, but in my opinion, it yeah. was a racing incident, is what it is. But the one that we want to talk about is towards the back later. end of the race was the Brock Feeney and Thomas Randall incident heading into the hairpin. Uh, Randall went way too hot and uh, yep. knocked Feeney out. Uh, well, they still kept in the race, but out of position. Spun him, spun him uh, got a 15 second penalty, but uh, that still wasn't the drama. Still uh, wasn't um, he pissed off Andre Heimgartner as well <laughs> at one point. Um, so, oh, yeah, yeah. Everyone was uh, complaining about Randall for the back end of the race. Wasn't there. Randall's best moment? No, but uh, he, credit to him. It, Tom. Uh, I have huge respect. Yeah, I have, I, I we absolutely love, love you, mate. But uh, he went to go to apologize at the end of the race. Uh, this is where the drama is now, by the way. Um, yeah. At the end of the race, he went to Triple Eight Garage to apologize to Brock Feeney, which is, you know, a good sportsmanship. Um, yeah, straight away. To see. Didn't take straight away. Off. But then uh, Mark Dutton with his invisible line, with his invisible marker, like a play, like, like a kid at play school, he crossed the line. Nah, you can't go there. That's my line. That's my Mark Dutton copyrighted line. You can't go there. My driver is hiding away from me at the moment. Um, and it looked quite rough on the screen, on the TV. Uh, uh, he didn't, Mark Dutton, he well, didn't he, like push him or anything. He just, he said, just, he just, said, he just hold there. He was a bit of a dick about it. But uh, And then Ooh. Jamie Winkup, credit to him. I've got to give him respect. We love Jamie. Um, he, he, uh, he was completely calm about the situation. Uh, by the way, according to Mark Dutton, he, well, he didn't know what Thomas Randall was going to do. Um, because well, he had his helmet what on did he and all think that. He was gonna do and his heat of the moment. I don't know. I don't know. He's like, making excuses. Anyway, if long story short. Your driver gets taken <laughs> out and another guy is coming to apologize. And ja- Jamie was right there. Jamie, yeah. He literally said, Mark, he's apologizing. Yeah. Now invisible yeah. line. Yeah. If by the way, if I was Tom, I would have just gone through his garage and then gone to the back of the paddock. I don't know why he just didn't. Yeah, he should have gone I mean? through his Tickford garage and then yeah, go, he's going back around. Yeah. Like Screw your invisible line. I'm going to make my invisible. Yeah, I'm going to go the around the is, invisible. The line. paddock is free for all. Yes, he exactly. might be in the truck, but yeah, the paddock's still free for all. There's no invisible lines there. At least on Facebook, though, he marked that he's safe from Dado's invisible line. <laughs> so that's good. Um, that that's what I'm happy about. But uh, yeah, no, because the whole thing is Brock Feeney was actually in his um trailer. Um, yeah, um, I think the, the truck, reason so. why Red Bull especially Mark Dutton, is very upset with the incident. Not only is it an incident, and yes, they were fighting mm. for a podium, but this does have huge implications 
for Brock. Oh, well, yeah, that's no, huge, but it has an implication well, on lost Brock. about 30, 40 points. Yeah, which he needs. No. Exactly. Um, Unfortunately, the last couple of rounds haven't been very kind to Brock Feeney, and mm. this doesn't help. Um, obviously, he had the pace to do, you know, to win on the Saturday and probably the Sunday too. Well, maybe not, but um, yeah, it's it's that's the that's the reason why everyone at Red Bull is upset, mm. which is fair enough. Well, the thing is too, uh, I want to point out, Tickford is second in the teams, who is chasing Red Bull. In the points, and so when Tickford knocked Red Bull out, you know there's some there's some drama. Uh, well, at least heading into yeah into it now. Into more Walkinshaw it, have taken over. Ah, oh, so Walkinshaw have actually taken over yep. after that, but that's because of the Thomas because Rampage. of the incident. because yes. of that. So there you go. That's uh, we just learned that now. So fantastic. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. But um, I'm the king of team standings. There you are. Yeah, I am. Alex, watch our live stream. Alex is the new Aaron Noonan, by the way. I am the team standings <laughs> guru. Yeah, exactly. I write. But, I write how much they've gone up and down. Yeah. The thing is, though, you know, it's because a similar thing, Betty Klomenko even came out and said she was comparing it with Barry Ryan. With the, uh, but the bottom. thing is, I think, uh, I don't know, I can't remember exactly what Barry Ryan did. It was the winner bottom thing. What did winner bottom? Winner bottom tried to apologize for something that happened last year. Yeah. And then Barry just pushed him out. Yeah. Okay. There's a bit of pushing, shoving. Yeah, right. yeah. But this, this one, this one here, by the way, there is an investigation over the whole dilemma. Um, mm. I don't really think that's necessary, but I don't is, think anything will come out. Of is it. what it is. Um, I guess just Tickford want to say, look, all Thomas was wanting to do was apologize, and yeah. this didn't need to happen. Sure, I get that, but nothing's going to come out of it. I, I assume. Yeah, but the Barry Ryan one was worse. That was that's what I mean. They, so I don't really know what Betty was comparing. Yeah, doing with that because he just, he it. didn't even he didn't even shove him out of the way. He just said, "What well, what." Well, um, gentle just nudge. a gentle tap, uh, gentle not nudge. even a push or anything. Like he just stopped him in his tracks. He didn't like shove him out of the way. Yeah, but it was like a child saying, "No, you can't come into our group." I can't. It was but keep childish. in mind, Barry is a bit of a different, unique character. Yeah, but Barry um, is different. It's just it's cool to see some drama though in the, the super, in the supercars. It's it does it has tends to lack that. But, it does um, because it's such a family environment. Mm. Uh, not so much this weekend, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but there's no NASCAR fighting. No, I think, no, but... I don't think we'll ever see that because um, the Aussies are a bit more mm. tame. But the, also the same thing as well. Triple Eight has been sort of a bit interesting with, and They're sensitive, getting... I suppose, if you if you will, this year with the headlight drama, for example, with Brody. I think they're getting in their own um, way though. They're in their own head. Yeah, they're stuck in the. Yeah, I think their the ego. You know, too high. obviously they don't unfortunately have their. You know, one in a million driver anymore, mm. and Shane Bang is Bergen. Mm. So it's a different situation for the team. And look, I'm not saying that they got worse drivers. Yeah. Don't get me wrong; they're still winning races and oh, yeah. still no, no, no. leading the championship. No problem there. But it's a different environment. Yeah, they're not dominating every weekend. They don't expect to win every. Well, they do, but well, they've know. had three, two or three rounds now. That this is the first weekend they've actually been up the front. In a while, Pace. in a while, in you a couple know? months. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, yeah, it's just heat of the moment, probably, uh, and it is what it is. I like don't think too much into it. Uh, I don't think anything will be investigated properly. No. Nothing will come out yet. The there won't be an outcome. Um, just play there on. There is a it'll be a play on scenario. Yeah.